Hi, and welcome to exercise one. Um, the first thing that we're going to work on in Word is scrolling with the bar. As you can see, the bar is on the right side. So left click on the bar, and you can drag it up and down and scroll through your document. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to delete the last sentence of the document. So once you've scrolled down to the final paragraph, I just want you to select the last sentence, and only the last sentence, and press the backspace key. And there we go. And now we're going to look at a different way of going, um, moving around in your document. Okay, down at the bottom, on the right hand side of your screen, you can see that right now we are selected on the print layout. Okay, and to the left of the print layout icon is an icon that looks like a little book. So we're going to select that. That's called read mode. Um, you cannot edit your document when you're in read mode. So all you're going to do is flip through it. And as you can see, there's an arrow on the left and an arrow on the right. So we can move pretty easily through the document quickly. And you can read all the text that you've written. Okay, so I'd just like you to use the arrows. Okay, examine your document. And I'd like you to end up on screens 1 to 2 of 5 and then go back down to the right hand corner and click print layout again. Okay, because we're going to select the whole first paragraph and we're going to delete that. And there's a very easy way to select a whole paragraph at once. Just hover your cursor over it and then triple click. Okay, the whole paragraph is selected and we're just going to press the backspace on that. Okay. Mm. Now, the uh, next thing I'm going to show you is um, if you don't want to use the scroll bar because you're trying to be a little more specific and looking for something line by line, you can use the arrows above and below the scroll bar. Okay, and that moves you up and down just one line at a time. So you can try that. Awesome. And as you scroll down through your document, and clicking and using the arrow, you'll see an error. It's underlined either in blue or in red, and depending on your document. Um, but you're going to select that whole sentence that contains the error. Okay, the underline. It's going to be there. And the way that you do that is you're going to hold down the control key and click anywhere in the sentence. Okay, there we go. And again, that's just a right click, no need to left click. Okay, now we're going to press the backspace. Perfect. Okay, so where, from where we are now, we're going to press control and page down. Um, page down is just to the right of your arrow keys on the keyboard. Okay, so let's try that. Control, page down. And we find ourselves at the start of the final page. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the left, okay, just to the left of your text, and we're just going to click to the left of the final line. Okay, ready? Okay, as you can see, that selects the line. We're going to backspace that. There we go. And then we're just going to do that two more times. Click to the left of your final line, your new final line. There we go, do the backspace. Perfect. One more time. Click to the left and backspace. Perfect. And now we're going to press control and page up to return to the top of our document. And as you can see, we're right here at the top. So just select all the text above where the first paragraph starts. It's just exercise one. Press the backspace key, bring your cursor down a couple lines, and backspace again to bring our paragraph up to the very top. Perfect. Now I want you to try pressing Control end As you can see, that takes you to the very end of your document. And so I want you to select the first sentence of this final paragraph. And if you recall, the way we do that is we press control and then we click the sentence.
Okay, whole first sentence. We're just going to want to backspace that. Awesome. So we've moved around a fair bit in our document. And as you can see, we are left with a few little paragraphs, one page of text. Okay, I want you to scroll all the way to the top and select the sentence underneath your first paragraph that is alone. Okay, you can either select it by dragging or you can hold down the control and select it by clicking. And we're going to delete it by pressing the backspace key. Okay, perfect. Mm, now, um, we're going to press Control Home again. As you know, that takes you to the very top of the documents. Very handy thing for when you need to move around in your document quickly. Mm, and we're just going to select that whole paragraph by triple clicking. And backspace. Okay, now we're going to try a new way of selecting. What we're going to do is we're going to click at the start of our first paragraph. Okay, keep your cursor there. Then I want you to press down the shift key. Okay, and then I want you to bring your cursor to the end of that paragraph and left click. And as you can see, the whole paragraph has been selected. Okay, press the backspace. Now, um, you don't even have to select only one paragraph by this method. Um, go down to the second line of the text that you see now and click at the start of it next to the word become. Okay, we're going to click to the left of the word become. Now hold down the shift and we're going to go down to the very last word of your document which is not very far down and it's the word this. Do you see it there? Okay, so click. Perfect. We've selected a whole block of text and now press backspace. So as you can see, shift is very handy. Okay, now we're left with one line and we're going to remove the second half of it after the comma just by clicking and dragging. Here we go. Press backspace and backspace twice more to remove the comma. Just one space at a time. And we're left with one sentence. Let's check it out. Yep, we're left with just the tiniest bit of text. Go down to the right hand side and click the read mode to the left of the print mode that we're in. And as you can see, your document that was five screens long has been reduced to just this one sentence. So if you've completed the exercise properly, um, you should be able to tell us what it is. Thanks so much, and see you for exercise two.